Okay, let's look at this situation here. Um, I want to try and represent it graphically. I'm sure you've read the question um, first before um, attacking it. So what we have here is a situation where um, here we have our units output and we have our total costs. So we have a situation where we, we start off, of course, with a fixed cost. We can call it A. And we're saying that we get to 25,000 units. Twenty five thousand units, and we have a total cost of four hundred and eighteen seven fifty. And then we get to when we get twenty seven thousand units, Just put that over here, it, it goes up the fixed costs increase by 25,000. So we actually have the our graph changes. The, the the shape of our graph changes because you just literally have a whole shift in total cost, right? A total cost sh shift at this point of 25,000. There's 25,000 over here. Th that amount. But I'm just letting you know I'm just going to take that out, but there's a shift. And I'm also going to take this out because really it's not little stuff. My graph look not very good. and and then what you now have is it it you it carries on right because and then at twenty nine thousand you have a total cost of you have a total cost of Four hundred and fifty-eight thousand seven hundred and fifty. So, right, perfect. So the question is asking us, what is the variable cost? Well, let's just sort of analyze this then. What we are saying, under normal circumstances, what would have happened was that we would have had something that looked like this. We would say, listen, as we go from 25,000 all the way to 29,000, we would have had an increase in costs of from 41,000 sorry for 100 and four, 418,750 going up to if you like whatever the cost would have been at 29,000 well we know that ordinarily we wouldn't have had this in terms of variability in terms of variable cost we would have just had something that looked like that right and would just have worked it out so it technically would have been down here if there had been no additional fixed cost so if you can see where i'm going here so really that th this is what i'm really looking for this distance because that's what this argument is this is just the fixed cost so if we talk about the units between 29000 and 25000 what i'm really looking for is this shift which really is 458750 minus of course, the 418,750, but also minus the 25,000. The 25,000 has just come in and just in, increased this movement, but the distance between here and here, of course, which is this thing, but then take away that 25,000 so I can just find out what this is. Because from a variable point of view, all I'm interested in is that when I produce an extra unit, how much does the variable cost go up by? That's all I'm interested in. I just want to know what the variable cost is. So in effect, I just want to really know what's going on there, which is why you do all of this. So you need to take off, take out that 25,000 so you can find just the change in cost, variable cost when um, units increase from 25 to 29,000. And when you do that, you divide all of these together, you should get three pound 75. Right. Let's just do that. So just so that you're happy with that. Four five eight seven fifty minus four one eight seven fifty is forty thousand. Take away twenty five thousand gives you fifteen thousand. So you have fifteen oops, sorry, fifteen thousand divided by four thousand, and that gives you three pound seventy five.
cool. And that's your answer, 3.99. Super.